Welcome back to Project 94 for another diecast review here on the channel. Today, we're going to be looking at another 2023 164. Here is Alex Bowman and his 2023 Ally Best Friends Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 number 48 for Hendrick Motorsports. So, we are back with a third Alex Bowman diecast review. We looked at his night and day paint schemes, which you can check those out as well before you check out this one. But this is the best friends paint scheme. So every year since 2021, we have gotten best friends themed ally cars for the Phoenix race and a few other races as well. Um, so he has an alternate paint scheme. He is promoting the best friends um sector or section of the ally company their brand their little promotional deal they got going on called best friends which is a foundation for i'm assuming it has to do with animals and like dogs judging by the looks of their logo and the way they design their cars but man i gotta say this year is a pretty nice car now last year's car was based on that awful uh 2022 uh primary car where the, it was just super like bland looking, it was all white, and they just had stuff sprinkled on the car. It didn't really look that great. The 2021 paint scheme was pretty good, but this one right here is a pretty cool design, and it kind of goes with the other paint schemes in a lot of ways with the way it was made and designed. As I show you guys the box here, I definitely prefer this one over last year's, and I got a pretty cool thing. Um, to announce to you guys about this die cast. Remember how last year they couldn't get the white paint correctly? Or they couldn't do it on the car in the right color? It was like a cream white color. They actually improved the white. It actually looks more white. It's the right shade. So if I bring this car to the camera, you can definitely tell that compared to last year, the white is much more accurate. It's a legitimate white paint. If you look underneath it, it was spray painted that white color. It's not the cream white color from last year. It's the fixed color. It looks better now. An actual white. No cream filter, nothing. It's just a straight up color of white. Which is how the real life car is. So, accuracy points, finally, for this die cast. But, looking around it, I gotta say, I love how they still found a way to add in some gradient. Incorporate some gradients on this design. It's not as obvious on this car that there's gradients on it as the others. But you can definitely tell, especially towards the front, you've got some of that gradients fitting in with all those stripes as well. So, yeah, we're going to take a closer look at this die cast. And I just noticed how messed up the axle was. You guys saw, like, how the wheel was like that for a second? See how it does that? Ah, the quality of these cars. It's fantastic, isn't it? Here's the front of this thing. You got number 48. Hendrick Motorsports, the Chevrolet Camaro front end of this thing. We got ZL1, ZL1 Ally on the hood right there with the intrusive hood vents. You have the gold Chevrolet banner, which looks a little bit faded. Uh, you have Alex Bowman right there on the windshield. Then you have Sunoco, Goodyear, NASCAR Cup Series, the 75th anniversary logo. The Goodyear logo is white on the wheel well and yellow on the wheels themselves with the dark gray rim color. You have number 48, Alex Bowman. You got Chevrolet, Exalta, Cincinnati, Climb, Freightliner, Mac Tools, and Siemens. You have Best Friends right on the side. It works well with the number placement. Of course, you have Vaveline right on top of that pink little paw right there. You have HendrickCars.com because they're also sponsoring Alex Bowman. On the back of this thing, is this is where the decal package, I don't know if it's messed up on mine only, but you guys can tell, look at the back of this thing. You got, man, this camera does not like white, does it? Got the Chevrolet, the taillights, the Vaveline, number 48 Camaro, uh, hashtag save them all. That Camaro ZL1, I forgot to mention the ZL1 logo down there. Look at how the, the paws overlap the taillights. That's not, I, I, it might have been like this in real life. I really don't remember right now. But I find it weird that the decals are printed on top of the OEM details, especially something like taillights. So, yeah. That looks a little bit weird. As you guys can tell, they're printed over. That's odd. Is your car like this? Or is the real life car like this? Please let me know in the comments section as this camera is ready to move on to the deck lid. 
You have Ally, do it right with the little orange paw. We'll go over all the colors in a minute. Got Bowman. Ally, do it right, number 48 on the roof. And now for the paint scheme. On the doors, you have a bright orange outline with a white number fill-in. On the roof, you have a the purple color for the number fill-in. It's not a super dark purple. It's actually kind of a lighter lavender, I guess, purple. Or not lavender. It's Lavender is much brighter than this. But honestly, the purple is a lot lighter than usual. But nonetheless, that's the number color fill-in and the white outline to it. We got the black splitter, or spoiler, splitter with the little yellow corners to it, which is super accurate to the real car. And of course, the black roof rails. I like how they actually did that, the little lower, the lowering indicators right there. And of course, you even have on the side markers of this thing, a bit of yellow by the rocker box. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so here's where the gradients was at. So here's the front of this thing. It's in that really bright orange color. Um, it's going to fade. So as you look at the front of this thing on the hood, you're going to notice some gradients around the front of this thing as it fades into the pink, purple, orange, and white. Pink, purple, orange, and white stripes. And a bit of yellow as well. Before it transitions into that, it's going to fade from that orange. See, it's almost like a sunset. See how it's like fading into the stripes? That's pretty cool. I like how they did that. It would have been very cluttered if they continued all the stripes onto the nose. So I'm glad they didn't do that. I'm glad they did a, a fade design for it. And if you look at the ally letters, it looks like the L's sort of have a pink outline to them. Like a pinky orange outline to them. It could just be my eyes messing with me right now. Actually, I don't think it has an outline. It's just the stripes. That's what these ally cars do to your eyes. They make you see things that you probably wouldn't imagine seeing. But nonetheless, you have all those different color stripes. The color scheme I just talked about earlier of the purple, pink, yellow, and orange, and all those colors, and a bit of the white. It's pretty much going to be like how, you know how the day or the night car and the day car, it was like when you're moving forward, the design just looks like it's splattered. How do I describe it? It's like a paint scheme where it looks like it's going fast like doesn't this look like it's going fast when you look at this it's kind of like that kind of paint scheme but the lines are much harder and more defined on this car than they are on the other paint schemes and at the end of each of those stripes you're going to have the paws going along with it so as you can see on the side the paws are pretty much shooting across the side. So it's pretty much got like stripes, just like the other cars. The stripes just shoot across the car on the roof and on the sides. And instead of having just generic little white boxes, you're going to have the paws. There you go. That's the way I was intending to describe the scheme. And pretty much the back half of it. So pretty much the paws stop towards the middle on the doors. So as you can see, it stops towards the little B pillar right there up to that. And on the roof, it's just going to be much more towards the last, um, you see where it says ally, that roof flap. It kind of goes up to the roof flaps and stops. And then the rest of it is going to be all white in the back with the paws just scattered around it. So you got one on the deck lid. You have the orange, the yellow orange. You have the purple and the dark pink. Got one, two, three, like a dog like walked right here. It's weird how a dog can just walk on like one paw. It's kind of funny because like you see like two paws next to each other but they just put three right there um the hips are pretty clean outside of this side being right here the right side hip is covered up in those two paws right there the purple and the pink the dark pink almost and then of course you have the orange paw and on the back of this thing I know all the cars have paws in the front and back, but man, like the paws covering up the taillights. I mean, I kind of see how it would make sense. Like if a paw, if a dog is like walking around like any surface, the paws are going to be on top of whatever surface they're walking on. So maybe it does make sense for it to be on top of the taillights and all that stuff. I just find it funny how, look at that paw right there. The purple, the purple one on the right and the pink one on the left. Are covering up the details of the, the taillights but they're not covering up the letters or the Valvoline probably because you need to be able to read the hashtag save them all slogan in the back and the Valvoline logo and the piece of the Camaro logo that stuff has to be readable readable so that's exactly why they left it like that I would like to assume I don't see a rear view camera on this one either 
Uh, but yeah, other than that, that's the paint scheme. Let's get a couple close-ups of it. So you can see the color scheme is pretty much consistent throughout the entire design here. Of the orange, pink, purple, and white. And a bit of yellow and orange. Pretty cool looking design. I really like it. Let me see if I, I can zoom in on this so I can get slightly better quality. There you go. Now you can see much better this car. It's a pretty nice design. I definitely, if you're an Alex Bowman fan, I recommend you get this car. This is a pretty nice one, guys. I gotta say, this is probably my favorite, like, every every year so far of the Ally schemes. The uh, Save Them All paint schemes have been my favorite. The Best Friends Save Them All schemes are just Ally Best Friends. I've always loved these paint schemes. They've always been great. I don't remember a bad one, and the only bad one there was was 2022. And it wasn't bad, it was just, it did, I wasn't as good as the others, but this is definitely one that's going to be good. So I'm going to give you guys a 360 view of it. So here's the hood, or the front of this thing, the nose, the hood, the right side of it. That decal is a little bit off, it's a bit slid up there, but it's no, no, not a big deal, I guess. The Lionel's quality is just, ew, is that a couple paint chips right there? Oh, oh well. Just a couple black specks on this thing. Um, I do like the, the little face right there of the dog. That's a cool symbol. That's been on all the cars so far for this line. The best friends save them all line for Alex Bowman. All his paint schemes. Here's the back. Wow, you can really see the die cast much better than before. Maybe in future videos, I'll just zoom in on all throughout the entire video. So we don't have to do this 360 view at the end. But yeah, pretty cool die cast. I like the color scheme of it. Not only is it consistent throughout, but it looks super good and bright. You're definitely going to notice it at a track like Phoenix and maybe a couple other like sunny day type races, racetracks. Of course, get the biofuel logo right there and the under tray of this car. So here it is, guys. That has been the Alex Bowman Ally Best Friend Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 400 Motorsports. Definitely like this paint scheme. It's one of my favorite Alex Bowman uh, designs this year. And I look forward to see what future... Oh, I just dropped it. I look forward to see what future Ally Best Friends designs look like. Because they're definitely interesting paint schemes. And this is definitely one of them. So thank you all for checking out this diecast review. Comment, like, and subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next diecast review. And we will always make sure that we know what we're doing when we're putting decals on our diecasts.